My name is Nicky Mora Escoto, and this is my opinion about teenage pregnancy. Teenage pregnancy, para sa akin, hindi ito karapat dapat para sa ating mga kabataan. Sapagkat sabi ni Dr. Zerizal na, ang kabataan ay ang pag-asa ng bayan. So dapat, tayo ang gumagalaw upang umasenso ang ating bayan. Alam ko, dugo at pawis ang nilalaan ng ating mga magulang, ate o kuya upang tayo ay makapag-aral, makapagtapos, at mabuhay ng malusog. Huwag natin bigyan ng problema ang ating mga magulang. At alam, na, alam naman natin lahat na malaki ang inaasahan na nila sa atin. Ako bilang kuya, gusto kong magbigay ng advice para sa inyo. Habang bata pa lamang tayo, ituloy na natin ang ating pag-aaral at makapagtapos. Malaking bagay na para sa ating mga magulang iyon. I-enjoy lang natin ang pagkabata dahil alam ko na sobrang hirap maging magulang. Hindi, mo, hindi ko man na-experience maging magulang pero ramdam ko ang aking mga magulang. Tulungan na natin ang ating mga magulang habang bata pa tayo sa paanong paraan. Lalo na ngayon, pandemic. Pwede kayo magbenta o business kahit pa paano kumikita ka. Halimbawa ako, ang pinagkakakitaan ko ngayon ay ang aking pagdodrawing. Marami tayong paraan na pwedeng gawin upang makatulong sa magulang, upang mabawas-bawasan ang kanilang gastusin para sa atin. Hi, I'm Cass. Uh, I got pregnant when I was 24. Um, the first time I had sex was I was 18, and I waited. I waited. Um, I was being pressured by my boyfriend and all, but I waited till I was 18. But still, but in the back of my mind, like right now that I'm 30, masana I waited a little bit more to get pregnant, because I have a lot of. Like dreams, pa mga pangarap ko na hindi ko pa nagagawa, na which I think na mas magagawa ko kung wala yung baby ko. Although, love ko yung baby ko, sobra. And she gives me strength and all. But, I, if I waited, I could have given her more. Like, ngayon, ang iniisip ko is not my dreams anymore. It's my dreams for my kids. For my kid. Yun. Um, which is my advice for teenagers is it's, if you're gonna have sex, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, yung mga sex education and all that, it's really important for for everyone to be knowledgeable about it. Yung mga, kasi sa ngayon, panahon ngayon, maraming cases ng HIV and all that because hindi alam ng tao, hindi alam ng mga bata sa ngayon na, na pag nakapag-sex, okay lang, ganyan. Pero hindi iniisip yung future, ganyan. So, my, my advice is, it's better to wait. Focus sa dreams and goals mo as an individual, hindi yung love, hindi yung kasi baka iwan ako ng boyfriend ko or pinipressure ako ng friends ko. Yung friends ko, hindi na virgin, ako virgin. But, hindi yun yung bottom line. Hindi yun yung goal eh. Ang goal mo is to reach your dream. Let's start. Yeah, so being a teenager can be hard sometimes kasi kadalasan ang nasa isip natin is kung paano ba tayo mag-fit with the other teenagers. And many times yung mga teens, they let their friends na influence their decision to have sex at a young age when they don't fully understand the consequence associated with the act. Then another nagkakos ng teenage pregnancy is family. Yes, family. Alam natin lahat na iba't iba tayo ng family background so majority ng mga adolescents na naka-experience ng maternity suffered from the absence of parental figure which resulted in lack of attention in their home. And too many parents these days do not talk about sex education with their children and leaving them to learn it about in the wrong way, which often results in teenage pregnancy. So yung last na isi-share ko sa inyo, yung 
usong-usong term ngayon sa mga kabataan which is yung walwal. Another nagko-cause ng teenage pregnancy is yung drugs and lalong-lalo na yung alcohol. Kasi kung nasa influensya tayo ng alcohol, we can control ourselves and these two can lead into making really bad decisions. When you're drunk or high, your brain doesn't work as well as normal. That's why they say na it's really good and that's a big no-no. You also have to worry about what might happen while you pass out when you've had so much alcohol or enough drugs that can move or pass out and you have no control over what other people do to your body. And speaking of drugs and alcohol, dito na rin papasok yung sexual abuse. So yun lang yung may share ko na causes ng teenage pregnancy pero marami pang iba dyan guys. So para sa mga teenager na katulad ko, isip-isip muna before we unzip, tama? Yan. For most teenagers, the real consequences of having a child at such a young age are unknown. Kaya sa mga teens na katulad ko, we need to be aware of the harsh reality of raising a baby and the negative effects that an unplanned pregnancy can cause in both the mother and the child's lives. For those who experience teenage pregnancy, hindi iyan ang end ng inyong path. As what Georgia Hedgeman said na you are stronger than you think. Para sa mga ibang tao dyan, please huwag natin silang i-judge. Kasi judging them will just make them self-conscious and cause more worry for them when they need to be taking care of themselves and of course their babies. Yun lang guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye! Hello everyone, I'm Mitch. Um, I'm now 31. With regards to teenage pregnancy, I got pregnant at the age of 18 years old. And the process wasn't really, re ano, um, it wasn't really um, smooth. Because me having a kid at a very young age, syempre, I don't know kung paano ko sila papakainin, pagpapaaral. Those are the things na hindi ko inisip when I got pregnant at a very young age. I may look okay now, pero still at the back of my mind, I'm still thinking what could have happened if I waited na, you know, to get pregnant. Then maybe I could be able to give my kids um, a complete family. Hindi sana sila broken family ngayon if maybe I waited. So, kung meron, man ako maya advice sa mga teenagers ngayon, is the same advice I always give my kids. That is to wait. Kasi... Mas maganda na when you start a family, you're, you are both ready to have a family. Kasi the impact that you that you give your kids na for them, I mean, them having a broken family is, ano, ang laki ng impact, impact sa kanila nun. Kasi, yun nga, they, it feels like, ano, um, they feel incomplete growing up. Pero yun naman, um, it's really good na, you know, when you start having kids and all that, dapat both of you are ready, you're stable. Um, ano pa ba? Um, you have your job and you already um, reached your goals. Why do teenage pregnancy happens a lot most of the time? Um, I think it's because of uneducated, uneducated youth. That's mostly the reason for. Uh, them having chances of uh, having someone impreg impregnated and not knowing the consequence and not knowing the not knowing the precautions to uh, engage in sexual intercourse to prevent that. Um, first of all, I think uh, we should we, sh we should teach uh, students or and youth uh, mostly. Mostly, well not mostly, more on sex education because I think here in the Philippines, sex education is not really a targeted, um, it's not really a wide topic for most, most youth. It only happens, uh, it only, the topic is, also, is just talk about uh, it, when they're, they're adults. What I think is, uh, I think they should bring it down a bit for the youth to be educated about it. So. Um, what I can also think of preventing it is that we should educate the youth ab about, you know, using, using condoms and, and other types like contraceptives and yeah, but to really, to really, um, uh, to really say that it's just, they, they, uh, schools need, uh, need more effort to put into sex education because uh, preteen, uh, you know, puberty makes, uh, puberty makes people, uh, you know, more curious. So 
I think the, I think schools should raise awareness to prevent it. So yeah. Hi, magandang hapon. This is Monica Trinidad from Baguio City. And today, I will share to you a little story about being a young mother. So, ayun, 17 years old ako nung una akong nabuntis sa panganay ko. Then, after 5 years, um, I became pregnant again with my second one. So, the first ba uh, my first baby was a girl and my second one was uh, already a boy. Okay, 17 years old, you know, is very um, a young age to be pregnant. Well, the reason why I got pregnant was... It was very simple. It was just young love. You know, there's nothing wrong about being in love at a young age, but we should know how to control it. And from that, I've I've learned my lesson, which is a lesson which which is also gave me which gave me a, a a good blessing. Of course, that would be my two kids. So my advice to the teenagers who has really young love is it's very simple. You just learn how to control them. Learn to control your emotions. Siyempre, mga bata pa kayo, so um, there are a lot, a, a lot of things ahead of you. So there are uh, procedures that you can follow or you can talk about it with your partner. It's really up to you. But number one is really you have to learn to control. So sa mga single mother or mga young mom who's, re who's watching this, uh, I want to inspire you because, you know, I didn't finish my studies. And um, sobrang sa discarte lang yan ng buhay. Uh, I'm proud to say that I'm already a professional makeup artist here in Baguio and also a freelance in Manila. And um, be, uh, with the help of my two kids, which uh, they are really my inspiration, I've reached and I uh, came this far. So I'm happy to share to you my story about being a young mother. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sage. I want to share with you all today my opinions and observations regarding the cause of teenage pregnancy. Uh, to start, I want to acknowledge that being sexually curious is part of life. We all go through that. There's no shame in that. Whether you are an adolescent, a young adult, or an adult, we've all been there. So, no shame in that. Um, next, I would like to acknowledge that there is not just one reason um, for the cause of teenage pregnancy. It could be lack of education, lack of information, it could be the lack of parental supervision and communication. It could be having um, peers who are sexually active. And it could even be as simple as refusing to use contraceptives. Um, <laughs> the thing is, there are still lots of myths nowadays that the youth, adolescents, teenagers believe. Um, for example, a lot of people still believe that it is impossible to get pregnant the first time you have sex. That's not true at all. Um, it is more than possible to get pregnant uh, the first time you are having sex. So please always practice sexual safety. Please use contraceptives. Contraceptives are important. Not only will they prevent you or your partner from getting pregnant, it will also prevent you or your partner from contracting um, STDs if you are both sexually active. Now, um, not only is teenage pregnancy a problem nationally, but I think it's also an international problem. A lot of teenagers, a lot of youth and adolescents are having unprotected sex, and I think that people should not be solely dependent on sexual education programs in school. I think it's important to not only educate your children, but to educate yourself on the practices and importances of um, sexual safety. There's no shame in practicing sexual safety, and there's no shame whatsoever in educating oneself. I think that's very important, and it's honestly a great thing, because the internet is easily accessible nowadays, and information can be picked up just like that. So remember, practice sexual safety, um, use a contraceptive, no shame in educating yourselves, and um, yeah, thank you for listening, and I hope you all have a great day.